I'm here in the Mojave Desert, and this beautiful vehicle behind me, the VSS Enterprise, is the rollout of the Spaceship Two vehicle. It's the first commercial passenger-carrying spaceship ever, and it's the child of Spaceship One, the vehicle that won the Ansari X Prize, the $10 million Ansari X Prize, five years ago. And when we saw what Bert had done with Spaceship One, we knew we had found our answer, because it clearly pressed all the right buttons for safety, uh, for passenger experience, and for commercial viability. And five years later, well, here we are. I consider myself the luckiest guy in the tent. I'm very proud to say that we accomplished that with an efficiency that just unheard of in the aerospace industry. And not only is today's action great for our future, it is also great for our economy. Because Spaceship Number 2 project has already created hundreds of uh, jobs here and will create hundreds of more jobs. Okay, this is a historic day for commercial space travel, for America and space, for regaining America's leadership in space, for New Mexico's role with these great pioneers to Peter Diamantis, who put our state on the map with the X Prize. We know that being the home of commercial space travel is not only going to transform the economic landscape of New Mexico and open up boundless opportunities for our state, but it'll make a difference for tomorrow's astronauts. It'll help with math and science instruction. In the same location, just a few months back, we had Mastin Space win the uh, Northrop Grumman Lunar Lander X Prize Challenge. And of course, we have teams from around the world now ready to do the next space challenge, which is the Google Lunar X Prize. So uh, we are driving through competition, entrepreneurs and scientists and engineers to do what only governments could do before. This vehicle, the Mastin Space Flight Vehicle, and soon the Google Lunar X Prize vehicles, making space available to all of us.